Hey guys, what's up? This is That Windows Dev with BitesizeTech.net, and today we're gonna talk about getting Clash of Clans on Windows Phone. All right, before we talk about it, a couple of you do know, but a couple of you don't know, that we could actually play Clash of Clans on Windows 10 Mobile at one point in time, thanks to Project Astoria. If you don't know what Project Astoria is, Project Astoria is a Android emulator for Windows Phone that was in one of the Windows 10 Mobile updates some time ago. Since then, that feature's been replaced by Xamarin and we don't have it anymore, so we need the official app now. Now that that's out of the way, we've been waiting on an official Clash of Clans app for about two years, maybe even longer. Believe it or not, a couple people in the Windows Phone community actually wanted the same and messaged Supercell about bringing the game to Windows Phone. And a few of them actually put their responses on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, Supercell told them that they don't plan on bringing the game to Windows Phone and only focus on platforms with a high demand. At least they try, right? Well, sometimes if you want something bad enough, you have to keep trying, even if it doesn't work. So I made this video for everyone out there that wants Clash of Clans on their Windows Phone, and you're probably wondering how we're gonna get it. Well, months ago, when Pokemon Go came out, a big part of the Windows community signed a petition. Yeah, a petition for Pokemon Go on Windows Phone. If we can get over 50,000 people to sign a petition for Pokemon Go, then we can do the same for Clash of Clans. Even if you have to sideload the app like Pokemon Go on Windows Phone, it's still a good idea. And plus, I'm like 80% sure there's another group of developers out there for Windows Phone that can make this happen. Personally, I think the petition thing is a good idea, and I actually made a petition to get Clash of Clans on Windows Phone. So if you guys actually want Clash of Clans on Windows 10 Mobile, then click the link in the video or the link in the description and sign the petition. It only takes a few seconds of your time and could actually help us get a lot more apps for Windows Phone in the future. Now I'm gonna tell you why this idea is gonna work. Supercell said they weren't gonna bring the game over, well, Supercell was sold to a company called Tencent Holdings for $8.6 billion. If you spend $8.6 billion on an app, of course your next idea would be to increase the amount of money the app makes so you can get your money back faster. If you bring Clash of Clans to Windows 10 Mobile, you'll make way more because now you have three phone communities playing Clash of Clans and they're all making in-app purchases, which at the end of the day makes them most of their money. You know, it doesn't make sense not to do this. It's a win-win situation. If you guys agree with me, go ahead and sign that petition. So let's say a Supercell developer was watching this video and he actually agrees and wants to bring it to Windows Phone, but he doesn't know how. Well, if you guys remember at the beginning of the video, I said something about Project Astoria. Well, Project Astoria was replaced by Xamarin. When Microsoft bought Xamarin, they wanted to make its sole purpose to help other developers on other platforms port their games to Windows Phone. And I guarantee you it's probably two times easier to use than you thought it was and makes porting your games a breeze. So that pretty much wraps this video up guys. Let's get Clash of Clans on Windows Phone by signing this petition. Again, the link's in the video and in the description. If you want to do a little bit more research, I actually wrote an article about this a while back. That's in the description too. This is That Windows Dev with BiteSizeTech.net and thanks for watching.